Hello, and welcome to the Features in 5 integration series. My name is Mario Moldari, and I'm the Director of Solution Architecture here at JAMA Software. Today, we'll be walking through the JAMA Connect to Jira integration. We make it possible for you to integrate JAMA Connect with preferred best-of-breed software to achieve live traceability across the end-to-end -end development cycle. Live requirements traceability is the ability for any engineer at any time to see the most up-to-date and complete upstream and downstream information for any requirement, no matter the stage of systems development or how many siloed tools and teams it spans. This enables significant productivity and quality improvements, dramatically reduces the risk of product delays, cost overruns, defects, rework, and recalls, and ultimately results in faster time to market. Let's get started. The JAMA Connect to Jira integration allows for bidirectional synchronization of data between requirements and tasks. This allows for teams such as software developers to stay in their tool of choice and enjoy the benefit of real-time updates between the two applications. Today, we'll be covering two core use cases for the integration. We'll be creating a defect in JAMA Connect that will synchronize to Jira, and then we'll be creating an epic in Jira that will synchronize over to JAMA Connect. Let's start by executing a test case in JAMA Connect's test center. Let's start our test run here, and we can go through and pass or fail steps accordingly. We get to a, an issue, we can log a defect right from the test, and we can set things like priority. Go ahead and save that defect. And we can go ahead and save and close this test. And then we can open up the, the test record here, and we can take a look at the relationships. And as expected, we will see a link to a downstream defect that we just created. And let's take a look and open up that defect. And we can see there's an integration URL to the corresponding defect over in, in Jira that was just created. And as a developer, I can see a new defect came in and I can start to work on this defect. I can also change things like priority. I can also add a comment. Anything, any field that's set up to participate in the integration, such as name, description, comments, priority, all of these things can be modified from Jira and that will be synchronized over into JAMA. And now you'll see that there's a JAMA URL here and this will take us back to the defect that we just created in JAMA Connect. And we can see that the priority has been set to low. We can see that there's a comment that's been added to add attachment and we can actually go ahead and add an attachment here picture of our cracked camera and we'll attach that to the item. So conversely, uh, anything in JAMA Connect that's participating in the integration, any field, name, description, priority, uh, all of these changes from the JAMA side will also be reflected over on the JIRA side. And so if we navigate back over into the, the JIRA defect, we'll do that by following this URL here we can see that our attachment came over uh, onto the JIRA defect. So similarly, if we're in JIRA now, we're working and we wanted to create an epic, we can go ahead and create epic, an epic, and we can use a building improvement, and we can go ahead and create that. And then let's take a look at that epic that we just created here. And similar to the defect scenario, any field that's set up and configured in the integration will synchronize between the two applications. And that includes the name, description again, comments, uh, priority. Uh, so any field that's you know, configured will, will sync over. And then if I uh, refresh this epic that I've just created, you can see now that there's a, a JAMA URL to the corresponding epic that's just been created in JAMA. So I can go here into JAMA and I can add things like tables and, you know, further elaborate the description, ask the development team to, you know, fill out the table for me. Uh, but more, more importantly, what I, what I can do is start to establish traceability within JAMA now. So uh, assuming maybe this usability improvement request came from a, a particular customer, I can link to a, an upstream requirement uh, or initiative in this case, usability improvement from customer. And so I can start to establish traceability now, now that it's in JAMA. So all the work is being done in JIRA on this epic, uh, but the um, the traceability is being established within JAMA. So I'm always getting the latest changes over from the JIRA side uh, participating in my in my traceability within, within JAMA. So let's take a look back over to the, 
to the Epic in Jira. And we can see the table that I, I just added from John is showing up here. And you can even see that there's a now an upstream link reference uh, that gives me a reference to the, the traceability that I just created on the Java side. So as you can see, the integration allows teams such as software developers to work in JIRA while allowing for real-time status updates to flow over to Java and be reflected in various traceability views. This way, teams are guaranteed to have the latest status on their projects. Thank you for watching this Futures in 5 session on the JIRA integration for Java Connect. If you're an existing customer and want to learn more, please reach out to your customer success manager or consultant. If you're not yet a client, please visit our website at jamasoftware.com to learn more about the platform and how we can help optimize your development process.